I'm fine, as you can see, my darling. Look at me now. I'm good. I'm looking good. I can see that. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, it's been long. Mm, when like you fast. What happened to you? <laughs> you just went on an exile, just like that. Is it because of that uh, scandal that is all over the place? Hmm. Every human being on earth is talking about it. Papers are even carrying it. Huh? Is it because of that you went on an exile? Well, lie it and lie it, Jetrude. I have been battling shame. Ah, the shame is too much. Hey, hey, don't speak, I, was, I need to hear hey. what you are you're telling me, please. Sorry. Yes. Aisha has disgraced me in every possible way. She has disgraced you. Yes, I need to hear this. Sorry. Please. Hey. Mm -hmm. You are saying. I can't even go out anymore. Hi! I can't even mingle with my fellow women anymore. This is so much. The least I can do is for me to just come here, pick some few things, then go back home. That I cannot... Relax, my friend. Eh? I know it's bad. The shame is too much. So you mean, with all that money that you spent in sending that girl to fresher uh, a university in, in Canada, you threw away all that had end dollar for nothing, only for her to get pregnant. Ah, 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 no, it's not good. Look, look, I, I, I feel you. But the thing is, eh, I know the senator very well. He must have been mad. Eh? My friend, that senator was very, very angry. Yes, he should now. I quiet on my but they are. Don't let me miss out of this gist. Just say it in English. He said, even the son vow hey. never to have anything to do with us. Hey. Again. What? You can see. So the whole thing is just, it's too much on me. <laughs> can you blame them? You can't blame them now. If you were in their shoes, you would do worse. You see why I say, eh? Me, Gertrude, a Dahosa. <laughs> no daughter of mine. They're not born away. No daughter of mine will get pregnant out of wedlock in my roof. Ah, uh, <laughs> not under my roof. It's not possible. It can never happen. Ha. Hmm. <laughs> ah, Jaytrude, hmm? how are your daughters doing? Ah. <laughs> On a lighter note, <laughs> let's talk about something that is good for us. Thank you for asking, darling. You know, that's something to talk about. You know my daughter now, my tall, beautiful, gorgeous daughter. Amber, she's the head chorister in Zion Heritage Church. She's doing good. And it's also my daughter, that beautiful one. Hey, you know I have beautiful daughters. Mm. That one, love is killing her. <laughs> she's in love. <laughs> that's like, that's fact. Good, she's engaged to a pilot oh, as I speak. Really? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know, and it's not just any kind of pilot. I am talking about an international pilot that flies in and out, in and out. Look, as I speak to you right now, their wedding is coming up. What am I even saying? I'm going to go to the house much later in the day, okay? And bring the invitation card for you. Look, you need to bring your daughter to that wedding. Our, as I speak to you, the creme de la creme, the who is who, the shakers and movers of this town are going to be in that wedding. Bring us. She might just find a man there. You never can tell. <laughs> Jetrude. Yes, dear. When lie it and lie it. And I make a mother come with you. Come to miss out of this. Sorry. Sorry. Speak English. Sorry. It's okay. It's when lie it and lie it. I am yeah. so happy for you. Oh, thank you. You should I be I am overjoyed for, for you. I know. You should be. <laughs> but you see, yeah. I'm not sure if we will be able to attend ah. the wedding. Because Aisha will be going to Canada for baby delivery. Canada? Yes. And as it is right now, I cannot allow her to go alone. So I have to go with her. You're still spending dollars sending her to Canada to go and deliver. 
Eh? Anyway, don't worry. So, my blessings are with you and oh, your daughter. Thank you. Okay? That's so nice of you. Congratulations. Thank you. Agnes. Oh, you can say that again. But, see, you know because of all this scandal and all these things that you're going through, huh? it's too much. Wear a mask. You know, you, you just wear a mask and cover so that people will only know that you're the one. Eh? I'll do <laughs> okay. that. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. Take care of yourself. Do you want me to pay for... No, no, no. It hasn't got into that. Esosa! 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 She has a little fever. Malaria. But that's not the reason for the throwing up. She is four weeks pregnant. You say? She's four weeks pregnant. Who is four weeks pregnant? I mean four weeks pregnant. Who is pregnant? Mm -hmm. Ha! Hey! Who am I going to Who is pregnant? Who is pregnant? You're pregnant? You're pregnant! Please, please, you're pregnant! You're pregnant! Please, you're pregnant! Please, pregnant. Please, pregnant. Please, pregnant. Please, pregnant. please, pregnant. please, pregnant. please pregnant. calm down! Please, calm down! I need you to calm down. I need you to stop crying, please. Hey, stop telling me to stop crying. Stop telling me to stop crying. Eh? Do you know the shame and the emotion I am going to go through? The embarrassment, the disgrace, the, the, the dragging. My own daughter got pregnant. Out of wedlock. If it was the pilot fiancé that, 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 that got her knocked off, I won't be bothered. Because by now, he would have been here. He will pay her bride price and take her away. But no! She broke up with him. You broke up with a man that would have helped your life. And then you allowed a faceless human being that I don't even know what generation that he came out from. I don't know his son, eh? I don't know where he came from. No human being on earth living knows that man. A faceless human being to touch your eyes and got you knocked off. And you agreed. Hey, hey, my own daughter, I'm finished. The socialites, oh. And they are going to have a field day. They will drag me all over the place. They will disgrace me. They are going to talk about me. Since you are foolish enough, since you are so foolish enough to get pregnant under my roof, you are going to abort that child. You will abort it. Oh, no. It's against my Christian faith, so that is even out of the context. Will you right? What has your Christian faith got to do with this? Okay, let your Christian faith now provide a husband for that child that is in that home. I'm talking, you're talking about your Christian faith. What has your Christian faith got to do with anything? Can your Christian faith provide the man, the faceless man that has gotten this girl pregnant? If I hear it again from your mouth, you will abort that child. No, mommy, I'm sorry. If you say one more time, sorry. I'm controlling myself not to jump on you. I will jump on you. I will eat you up. You wait and go pregnant. This girl got pregnant. You allow a useless human being to get you pregnant. Look, I'm giving you from now till your due date. You are going to go and look for that man. I got you pregnant and you bring him home. If I don't see him. Hi. You have finished me. I, look, I made a promise to myself long time ago that no daughter of mine, no daughter of mine is going to get pregnant under my roof. Hey, hey Jehovah, oh, this girl has finished me. You got pregnant under my roof? You are going to provide the father of that. Hi. Hey, I'm finished though. I'm finished. My friends will laugh at me. They will ridicule me. Everybody's going to pop me that my child got pregnant. 
Don't tell me to calm down. I can't calm down. You're just to finish me. You will come and kill me and you will eat it. <laughs> This routine is never ending. Daily blows from people who laugh and others' misery, even family. Ooh, I did wrong, I admit, but it's not the end of the world now, is it? Ooh, is it? I can't stand the pain anymore. It's hard to take, but I've got to be strong now, right? Right. I'm tired of covering it If only they would know how I feel inside To find someone to stand by me, and I found you, and I found you. Then I realized, I realized no one can truly stay alone. Everybody needs somebody. Now that I realized, yeah. you took all the burden away. It was hard to take, but we're feeling just fine. Good morning, Mama. Good morning. Hi everyone, it's Osai here. If you're just joining us, this is a vlog that has to do with everything concerning international dishes and more, of course. And if you're just joining us, please don't forget to subscribe and after watching this video, leave an amazing comment, like and also share with your friends and family. Your likes and comments are always amazing and it keeps me going. It makes me feel like, yeah, I'm doing something and it counts. And to also get your attention, uh, I feel overwhelmed. Okay, um, enough, enough of that. I would like to dive into the event of the day. You know how we do it. We're keeping it real in a Sosa's kitchen. <laughs> okay, today I uh, will be sharing with you how I make zucchini chocolate chips. Um, I'll start by introducing the ingredients one by one and after that I'll start with the whole process. Okay, let's uh let's see a comment. Um <laughs> Okay, uh before I continue I would like to say something I know that the news of my supposed pregnancy is already out there and a lot of you have been waiting for an update concerning um, my pregnancy and yes I'm pregnant but does my baby have it that of course but do I want to disclose this identity definitely not i wouldn't want to put it out there of course it's my personal life and for, also for the sake of the baby and the 
of the, the father. Uh, yeah. Um, another comment. I heard you got pregnant out of wedlock. Uh, wedlock? That, that, that's, that's a white lie. Of, of course, my baby has. Uh, excuse me. So, so please, I need you to make me something, okay? I want to break my fast. I can't, I'm sorry. I'm tired. <laughs> Excuse you? Did I hear you right? So because of this bastard thing you're carrying in your stomach, you feel it's wheezing enough for you not to pull your weight around this house? <laughs> Okay. What does that mean? What do you mean by that? <laughs> Are you deaf? You fornicator. Don't you know that fornication is a sin? No, you had to carry your randy self around and open your legs to men who have not paid your dowry. You didn't even, you didn't let it end there. You had to let them put you in a family way to show your disgrace. Who are you to judge me, Amber? Hmm? Miss Goody Two Shoes. <laughs> Who are you to judge me? <laughs> you know what's funny? What's funny is that you always read this Bible, but funny enough to miss out the part that says, do not judge. Why are you judging me? Who, who gives you the right to judge me? What is all this? And what makes you think you're better than me? <laughs> oh. Because you think you hide your bitterness with this, your new love for Christ. And you think we don't know that you're unhappy. I can see through you. <laughs> Esosa. So this is your definition of unhappy. So because I'm not Randy, going around the neighborhood, opening my anointed legs to men who are not worth it, that is your definition of happiness. If that is what you call happiness, my darling, I pity you. Did you say anointed legs? What even gives you the impression that your legs are anointed? Who anointed them, if I may ask? Who? You? Please, carry your anointed legs and allow me to carry my cross, okay? Allow me find peace with this my unplanned pregnancy. Do you want to kill me on top? What is it? I've had enough. I think I know what to do. I would just remind mom of her ultimatum because it looks like you are too comfortable around the house and that is why you can wag your tongue and talk back at me. When the cripple saw him, even today, my love is too angry. Nani, pick, 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 please, please. Please, pick.
hi everyone welcome back um as you all know this is esosa's kitchen and if you're a newbie here please please i want to heartily welcome you and i would like to suggest that you please fill in the survey below in that way i'll actually have a way to appreciate whoever referred you and again like comment and share to your friends and family also so that they can join us and learn how to make special recipes and delicacies okay um before i dive in uh okay a comment you your blog inspire a lot of newbies like us oh thank you so much this comment also inspire me to do better my dream is to get better and also to inspire a lot of newbies um cooks so if you're here and your dream is to be a professional chef or a cook you're in the right platform i would um start today we'll start with the fundamentals of um, cooking as cooking 101 and also um give you step-by-step -step guide on how to use your kitchen tools like the proper way to hold your knife and cut your veggies and also how to um, um slice your whatever you have ready for the meal so it will look beautiful it's one thing to make a meal it's another thing for it to be enticing and inviting for people to watch so here we like to make it colorful add colors to the meal so it can attract um, whoever it is even if you're not hungry it's salivating your mom have got to be kidding me why would she say a thing like that to you gosh this must be the highest joke of the century and how did she even find out that you were pregnant we went to the hospital together this is serious so what are you going to do about it now? What can I do? Nothing. Well, you just said this is serious. Well, yes. She sounded pretty serious. <laughs> but she's my mom. She'll forgive me eventually. Can't come and kill myself. Okay. So how have you been? Love? This routine is never ending. Daily blows from people who laugh at others' misery, even family. Ooh, ooh, I did wrong, I admit. Mom, mom. What is it? Don't jump at me like that. What is it? Mom, I just want to say that I know, I know I disrespected you and Amber, but but taking me out of the wheel. And this only means too harsh a punishment. I promise you, I will bring a man home. I promise. Please. Taking you out of the wheel is too harsh a punishment. Abby? Okay. Don't bring that man home that got you pregnant. Then you will see me. I will take you out of that wheel. Taking you out of the wheel is such a punishment, but you got pregnant. Don't bring that man to this house. Then you will see me. Telling me, taking you, taking me out of the wheel is too harsh a punishment. I will show you the harsh a punishment. Don't bring that man home. Come on, get out. Keep quiet. Get out of this house and go and bring that man. It's too harsh a punishment to take me out of the wheel. <laughs> It was just an ultimatum to find someone to stand by me and I found you see and then I realized, I realized no one can truly stay alone everybody needs somebody now that I realized Amber uh, Amber I I want to apologize for earlier. I didn't mean to be rude to you or anything or disrespect you. You're my senior. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. Just blame it on the hormones, okay? I'm truly sorry. Find it in your heart to forgive me. And 
can you can you believe can you can you believe mom she's threatening to write me off the wheel if i don't find a father figure for my unborn child like why would she send me on such a wild ghost chase how do i even begin that's an impossible task can we both know right a anyway i know that you're her favorite you, you you're the perfect daughter and i'm just a disappointment i should probably listen to you more i, I just want to add that please please just beg mom for me i, I don't deserve to be written off the wheel I, how do i want to survive I, I don't have any job how do i get written off my own inheritance that's not fair and you know it you both know it so please, I, I'm begging that you just help me and, and talk to her so that she can reconsider. You know she listens to you. Okay? Please, I'm begging. <laughs> hey, Sosa. Before you knocked at this door, I was about streaming life for our prayer section. I need to get back to my prayer section. Amba. This routine is never ending. Daily blows from people who laugh at others' misery, even family. Ooh, ooh. I did wrong, I admit, but it's not the end of the world now, is it? Ooh, is it? I can't stand the pain anymore. It's hard to take, but I've got to be strong now, right? Right. I'm tired of covering it If only they would know how I feel inside Inside So you've made up your mind to start going on blind dates? Just <coughs> can you help me with water? Thank you Seven kids. Well, yes, I have. Uh, I want to prove to my mom, my sis, and my unborn child that I'm not a failure after all. Besides, Mom was right. My baby needs a father figure. I can understand where she's coming from, actually. Oh, you're doing this so she won't strike off your name from the inheritance? Well, <laughs> that too. Please. No, no. The juice. Juice. Kill. Yeah. But are you sure you're ready for this? You know men now. <laughs> Head on. Good. Okay. Where do I start from? Okay. I'm going to teach you how to flirt with your eyes while you're on a date. So the guy won't even bother you're pregnant. Ooh, I love the sound of that. I know. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> so when do we start? Immediately now. Hmm? Okay, we're waiting for <laughs> Are you the first to be pregnant? <laughs> Don't stress me out. I love you too. I'm doing this because of the baby. Thank you. <laughs> I don't expect you to understand. Don't stress me out. <laughs> No. No. Look at your baby bomb. And the heels. I'm pregnant. It's too exposing. You can wear this. You have to change it.
No. Uh, no. Uh-huh. You have to change this stuff. Again? Yes. Ah. Uh. Well, this is okay. Ah. Uh, thank God. Finally, something you like. But you need to go for shopping. Your baby boom is becoming too obvious. You can't really be wearing stuff like this. But it's okay. Fine. I'll go for shopping. Okay. I'll buy new maternity dresses. Mm -hmm. But this is still good. It's okay. Can I rest now? Sorry. Tell me. You're back. Can rest. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, um, so sir, this shouldn't be so hard, okay? She can do this. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Just, uh, let's, let's run it through one more time, okay? Okay. Uh, <laughs> hi, uh, my name is Isosa. Nice to meet you. And you are? Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, um, I'm a food vlogger. I run an online kitchen, a Sosa's kitchen. Yes, that's what I do. Uh, what about you? Hmm, nice. <laughs> oh, my age? <laughs> Come on, that's a cliche. You know it's not polite to ask a lady her age. <laughs> I just uh, skipped, skipped that part. Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, my, my tummy is not so long. Uh, I'm, I'm actually pregnant, yes. <laughs> huh? <laughs> well, how would you say that? Of course, pregnant women, they go on dates all the time. Well, why would my kids be different? <laughs> oh, the dad. If he was in the picture, I wouldn't be here, don't you think? <laughs> that, that's just a story for another day. Oh, so, where, where are you from? Oh. <laughs> it's so sad. She got this. It's just that simple, okay? But if you, if you know you can't, you can still just um, cut this whole thing off. Huh? Do you want to be written off the wheel? Oh, oh. Breathing. Out. So this assistant pastor in training has been acting rather too friendly with me and I don't know what he wants from me. Hmm? Hi, sweetheart. How can you tell me you don't know what a man wants from you at this age and time? What else could he want if it's not marriage? Well. It's not all of them that want marriage. Maybe he just wants to be a friend. Okay. All right. Tell me about him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, he's the lead pastor's nephew. Oh. He's okay. called abroad. And he's cool. He's okay. Um. What are you waiting for? 
come on mom he has to woo me first a man has to woo the woman this generation of woo what is woo woo you first ah sweetheart the most important thing we should be worried about right now is that that man does not sleep into another beautiful chorister's hand. That's strange. Where do you think she's going? I don't care where she goes to. She can go anywhere she wants to go to. She's free. As long as she brings a husband home that will father that child in our womb. So I don't care. Okay. But were you serious about what you said? Of course I'm serious. Very serious. Hmm. But that would be a very Herculean tax for her. Excuse the hell out of you. What did I hear you say? Herculean what? Herculean tax for her? Herculean tax is me toiling day and night. Sending you girls abroad to go and school in the best school ever. That's Herculean. Did I hear you say that? And that ungrateful girl, what did she pay me back with? She got knocked up by a faceless guy that I don't know. And you sit down here and tell me, Herculean. Huh? That's my money speaking in your mouth. Because I sent you to best school so you can use that word, Herculean. That's Herculean. Look, let me tell you something. Don't tell me to calm down. And you better don't follow her footsteps because... Did you hear me? If you try it, you're sitting down here speaking with my money, Herculean. Mommy, mommy, don't you think that that's a Herculean? Herculean task. Hello, ma. Um, pl please, do you. Is there anything you want to order? No. Okay, in case you change your mind, you could just tap the bell. I'll come to you, okay? Okay. Hello, Demzel. My name is Anayo Onyekwere, and you are uh, Sosa? Yeah, yes. Nice to meet you. Mm, you are so beautiful. <laughs> wow, this has to be my lucky day. Thank but, you. Uh, I, you don't look so bad yourself. You are the ideal woman that I've been searching for all my life. Oh wow, how really? Oh. Wait a minute. Are you pregnant? Um yes. I hope you don't mind. <coughs> mind? Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. I know you love me. And you have a special place for me. You know the present. And you give me a pregnant woman for a wife? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. This comes for celebration. It does? Of course it does. <laughs> Waiter. She's having a baby and we are getting married. So yeah. I want you to get us something to celebrate. Oh, okay. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. We can leave. Wow.
Why is your stomach this big? Is that fibroid in there? Well, if it is fibroid, I don't have money for urgent uh, surgery. Shut up! How dare you call my child a fibroid? Have you gone mad? And who needs your stupid money anyway? Are you pregnant? Yes! And you're going on a date? Is that a crime now? Well, it's not a crime. But why if I want us to have a fun, wouldn't I choke the baby in the face? They will choke you for face. You hear me? They will choke you for face. Are you mad? What's even wrong with you? Oh, you think I'm stupid enough to have fun with you on a first date? You must think I'm desperate. See, avoid me or anytime you see anybody that looks like me, Jabba. If not, then you will regret. Anywhere I am, I swear to God, you regret. Idiot. I don't blame you because I, I, I came on, on a date with you now. Stupid. You are going on a date. Hi. My sister is a die-hard fan. Really? Yes. <laughs> Interesting. I, I would love to meet her. And she would love to meet you too. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Let's go down to the business. I know you are pregnant. Mm. But, but don't worry. I'm ready to play along as the father of the baby. Play along? Yes. It can make a public appearance, we can even go for photo shoots just to convince the audience and everyone that I am the father of the baby. But you have to pay me 600,000 naira. <laughs> never mind, never mind. I got you covered. I can bring it down to 450,000. Yes. You know what? Get out. Okay. I said. Leave my presence this minute. Just Go! I'm trying to help you. Leave! It's okay. What the hell? Um, I said, oh. I'm sorry about what happened. I saw, I saw, and I agree with you that men has come. Men has come, but um, I'm really sorry. Um, the whole thing, I saw it. <laughs> Madam, you forgot. Hello, who's this? Oh, oh damn. Uh, yes, yes, it's mine. Please, um, do me a favor. Make sure it's safe, okay? I'll, I'll come back and pick it up tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah, bye. Babe, going out on those sorry dates was a bad idea. I saw the bad, the ugly, and the complicated. 
Mm. Trust me, blind dates are highly overrated these days. Mm. I'm done. I know you've gone on lots of sorry dates. But are you just going to give up like that? Did you hear what I said? It was a bad idea in the first place. They make it look like single pregnant women are liabilities to the society. Oh, I can't. So what are you going to do about the will and your mom disowning you? Oh no, I don't know. What do you think I should do? For me, I won't let them take my name out of the will. Find someone now. Anyone that makes you smile. You know, this your block thing cannot sustain you. I hope you know that. Just anyone. Papa, come on. My baby deserves better. He will make you smile. Do you want them to take your name out of the will and disown you? My mommy is just bluffing. She cannot do it. But where will I see the man? Where? I've, I've, gone, I've been going out now. I've not seen any prospect. I will find. Where will I just see this man? You would find. You would find. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> if you're just joining in, this is Esosa's Kitchen. Guess what? I have great news. I checked the statistics and I can see that our views is going up all thanks to our new viewers. And if you're just joining us, don't forget to subscribe so you can join this amazing family and let's keep it rolling. You know how to keep it fresh and simple always. Um, today, I uh, will be teaching you how to make vegetable smoothies. You know how I like to keep it fresh. 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 Mm -hmm. So, how has your sorry date been? Have you found my problem with you, what was that all about? What is wrong with you? Why would you do that? Do you want to let the whole world know about my problems? What is this? Why did you do that? That's so wrong. Stop making mockery of me. Sorry, I... I'm just concerned, you know? And I, I heard that you were going on sorry dates, so I decided to ask how it's going. You know you're not sorry. I know you very well. You are not. You are mocking me. And I don't like it. Okay? Keep your sorry to yourself. And please excuse me. You can see I'm busy. Still trying to battle with all the negative comments I'm, I'm having. I'm coming to add to it. Please excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, Amba, can you keep it down? Intruding is never ending. Daddy blows from people who laugh at others' misery. Even family. Hi. Um, hi. Day. Oh, your course. Yeah. Course. So, um, try to be careful next time. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. So, um, from your complimentary card, I see you're a chef. That's correct. Yeah, and um, a food blogger also. Yeah, so I, I came on your one of your sessions and you're doing quite well. Okay, um, you, you know what, I'll just... Um... No, 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 don't worry, I'll pass. I'll pass, okay? Okay. I, um, I saw a couple of people request um, that you start doing some African dish. And um, I can actually spice your food blog with um, African and traditional dishes that would um, make your taste bud dance <laughs> okay interesting but that's not the direction i want to go for now um will you please um consider my proposal or my plea i can't employ you i don't have money to pay oh no i don't need money look i just want a platform to showcase my talent oh, okay um why don't i think about this and give you a call uh, yeah thank you thank you very much okay. i appreciate again. it yeah. All right. All right. Bye. Truly stay alone. Everybody needs somebody now that I realized. 
You took all the burden away It was hard to take but we're doing just fine now Coming. I am not ashamed anymore. Who are you? Um, good morning. My name is Chudi Wagbar. Um, I'm here to see my boss, um, Esosa. Oh. Chudi, yes. you're here. Right or time. Come on in. Okay, thank you. Follow me. Hi everyone. Welcome back. If you are just joining us, you know the drill. Subscribe, drop a comment, like, share. Okay? I appreciate you. And because I love and appreciate my viewers, old and new, I have an amazing news. I always go into my comment sessions to see what I need to upgrade on and impress and make it even more better for you all to be here with me. And I find out that a lot of people are always on my neck, ah, begging me to introduce local delicacies, even though that's not my specialty so i took out time just because i love you you know how we do it in a Sosa's kitchen i have a guest guys i have an amazing chef who is there to teach you how to make local delicacies here we are oh my god you can introduce yourself to my subscribers okay um hi everyone my name is chudi wagbara yes and i'm a chef so, um, just as our dearly beloved Esosa has said, I will be teaching you guys how to make traditional dishes that will make you miss your mama's kitchen. <laughs> yes, so today what I have on the menu is Ofe Oha, meaning Oha soup. So this dish is particular to the Igbo tribe of the Eastern Nigeria, and um, these are... Look, have you seen your sister? <gasps> he looks like they're more than friends. Come on, mom, don't exaggerate. What am I exaggerating? How am I exaggerating? Please, the boy looks good. I like it's it. It's not about him looking good. Ha. Does he have the spirit of God in him? Like, eh, is he eh, spirit filled? Eh, eh. Eh, eh, Holy Mary J, please. Don't be telling me about looking. Is it Holy Spirit filled? Don't invite that to Holy Spirit here. Yeah, we don't need it all. All I want for that, your sister is a man. Don't talk about Holy Spirit. So I don't care whether he's Holy Spirit filled. He's not Holy Spirit filled. I'm very fine with that one. Yes, so guys, um, now that we have the meat already boiling, we are going to add our kanda. I guess some people call it um, pomo. So it's already washed, well washed. Always remember to wash your meat because of bacteria and um, other stuff that could be on it. So I'm just going to add it all. It's well washed. I uh, washed it with hot water already, so that's why I didn't bother to do. So now I'm going to move to leave ready so that then please help me with ball. Today, she really impressed me. Like, are you sure this is your first time? No, of course it's not. <laughs> I guess what I've lacked all along was the opportunity to show my skills. 
Yes. Do you know you can actually manage and own your own restaurant? Mm, yeah, of course, I can. But what I lack is the way without to see it, you know. Well, that's why I'm here. Mm, yes. <clears throat> so, can we do this again? Sure. You know, I'm already always at your service, eh? <laughs> 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 I'm sure we'll rub off each other. Sure. <laughs> this is so much fun. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. So, where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, um, well, uh, <laughs> just like every struggling chef. I um I want to own my own cooking empire. Yeah. Also um create an indispensable productivity tool and help provide jobs for people that want to tow down this half pass. Wow. <laughs> That's a very big dream. <laughs> yeah, it is. And I, I pray it comes to fruition. <laughs> Amen. So how did you start? Uh, well, um, at the start of my career, I um, worked as head chef for one um, cooking company like that. But I already um, saw myself before then through school working in restaurants here. Yeah. So you can say I have a bit of experience Absolutely. in and out of the kitchen. <laughs> wow. Yes. I'm passionate too. Mm, well, <laughs> some of them I love and some of them I absolutely hate. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, can still, I can still remember them clearly in my head. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just cool like that. Too. You get there. Yeah. I believe. They're just coming. Yeah, if you see the traffic today, it was mad. Please, next time, leave your house on time. This is so unprofessional. Yes, boss. I've heard. <laughs> Guess what? What? The views on our last session is about two million already. God, who would have thought local dishes could be this amazing? Why didn't I think about this? Oh, oh my channel is blowing up. That's great. That's uh, great. Chude. Yes. Thank you so much for being a part of this. I mean, the brand is growing from strength to strength. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah, it was all you. No, no, no. Come on, I can't take all the credits. I mean, you're. Oh, mom. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Are you okay? Mm hmm. You want some? Mm -mm. Have you had dinner? Yes, a few minutes ago. Oh. Are you okay? Yes, I am, mommy. Hmm. Girl, I can see that you and your so called colleague, you are bonding. <laughs> Mom, uh -huh. he is just a colleague. Yeah. I can see it. He's just a colleague. Well, I like him. He's handsome, he looks good, you know. And it looks like he's going to make a wonderful husband material and a father to your baby. Mommy, like I said, mm. he's just a colleague. Yeah. Besides, I don't have any romantic affection towards him. I don't... Yet. Oh, yet. I like that, yet. Ah. Uh -huh. Prospect. That's good. 
Because I like what I see. What's that? I can see love in that boy's eyes. How can you even tell? Ah, eh, how can I even tell? Like I'm your mate now, right? You've forgotten that I'm your mother. I'm an old bird, so I know. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh. How can I unhear this? Unhear oh, what? Old what? Oh, bed? Yes. <laughs> okay. Mommy, please. I'm your mate now. <laughs> eh? I'm your mate, Abby. <laughs> look. That guy, when you look at him, you could tell his intention towards you. Just by looking at him? Yes, just by looking at him. I give birth to you, so I know. Oh, your fans are very funny. Just ignore them. Nah, <laughs> I can't. Oh, okay. Chica of Abuja says, is he your baby daddy? <laughs> okay, guys, Um, we're going to go on a small break, okay? Um, yeah, so... I was, I wasn't going to ask before, but where's your baby's dad? My my daddy's baby. Oh, so, shoot, my my dad, baby's dad. <laughs> well, he's missing. No, no, not missing. He's dead. Yes, he's dead. He he died of cancer, cancer of, of the. Stomach cancer, six, six months ago. Yeah, he died of stomach cancer six months ago. That's sad. Very sad. Tragic. I guess you must have felt really lonely. And that's why you started going out on blind dates. Uh, yes, lonely. Yes, loneliness, that's, that's the exact reason I started going for the blind. Just you're yes, smart. How did you know? <laughs> well, uh, you know, I just felt very lonely and I needed someone to call my own, someone to love me. You, you, you know? Yes, that was exactly what happened. Uh, <clears throat> so, um, uh, about you. Uh, What's your story? My story, how do you mean? Relationship wise? Well, I. Uh, there is not so much of a backstory to mine, it's just um, straightforward. I. Uh, I've been in love once. Yeah, just once, and uh, she shattered my heart into um, a thousand pieces. Yeah. So, how did you heal? I'm not trying to sound like he had guy or something, but um, she was gone, so I just moved straight on. Just decided not to dwell too much on the past, you know, just just focus. That's okay. That's okay. This routine is never ending. Daily blows from people who laugh at others' misery, even family. I did wrong, I admit, but it's not the end of the world now, is it? Ooh, is it? I can't stand the pain anymore. It's hard to take, but I've got to be strong now, right? Ooh, right. I'm tired of covering it. If only they will know how I feel inside.
It was just an ultimatum to find someone to stand by me and I found you and I found and then I realized no one can truly stay alone everybody needs somebody now that i realized hey, you took all the burden away it was hard to take but we're doing just fine now oh now I was tired of covering it, but now I found you. I am not ashamed anymore, How does this feel? Better. <laughs> um, should they? Yes. Thank you. Thank you for coming into my life. No, I... <sighs> I love you very much. And thank you for letting me be in your life. Because this is where I want to be. So we have Good Night Moon. We have Chica Chica Boom Boom. <laughs> uh, we have um, The Very Hungry Cat. <laughs> uh, we have um, Brown Bees, Brown Bees, mm. Little Children, Bible Stories. Okay, so what are we expecting exactly? We? Yes, we. <laughs> well, I, I didn't check. I want it to be a surprise. Ah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, it's just, uh, you know, I understand what you're going through, okay? And I can promise you that I'll be with you through the canteen, okay? Your baby is my baby, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. You have brought sunshine to my already cloudy life. And I want to say thank you for that. I love you very much. So, babe, all this has been happening without my knowledge, Abby. See how you're even glowing. Oh, please, rest, Olani. You left town, remember? Which one is rest? I left town. So you cannot call me, Abby? The people who made phone, they don't know what they are doing, Abby. Ah, God. And you love Amiba more than you love food. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> hey, baby. So I'm going now. Huh? Okay. Bye. Be safe, okay? Yeah, well. Bye. Bye-bye. 
Ha! Now when they enter your eye, close her! What is it? Isn't it cute? I know! He's so cute. Look at his physics now. See his chest. How won't you glow? <laughs> You're glowing, babe. He's cleaning all your cobwebs. Rest now! Come on! <laughs> what are you saying? You're borrowing me this yoga, you. Hey? You're borrowing me this yoga. Are you? You didn't meant how? Please, 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 it's a joke. Hold it right there. I can't even think about it. That's sick. <laughs> Ew. I'm not joking, no. No, you are joking. I wonder you're glowing. Why would I glow? I hope your mom can rest now. Hmm? <sighs> I hope so too. Like, tired babe. of my troubles. So happy for you. <laughs> oh, my friend. Finally. She's glowing. A father figure. Yes. We now have a father yes, figure. Yes, we do. <laughs> God, I beg. Please give me my own man. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Your man is coming, don't worry. He's coming. I'm so happy. Amber, what is it? What? You can talk to me about it. For the past few days, I have watched you become a different person with so much worry. What's going on? What is it? Huh? What? No, my... I don't know what I'm going to do. I feel so alone. I want what is so sad should they have. I understand. Trust me, I understand you. Okay? But my candid advice to you will be you go to your pastor's friend. Yeah. What do you want me to say? Go to your pastor friend and bear it all out in a platter to him. Oh, what is that you're doing? Why are you reacting like that? Go to him for all you know. That man might just be the ideal man you're looking for. Okay. What do you want me to say? Look, listen to me. I'm your mother. I know what I'm saying. Go to him. Are you sure? I'm very sure. I'm your mother. Look, sweetheart, trust me. Just go to him. Bait or I will tell him everything. Okay? All right? Hmm. So why is your face still like that? <laughs> So, so I'm really sorry. I know I have not been a good sister to you. But I want you to know that... Amber, it's fine. You're my sister. My blood. I could never harbor anything bad against you. Besides, I've forgiven you a long time ago. Oh, that's a relief. Mm. Thank you very much. Welcome. I really envy what you and Judy have. It is so mature. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, do you know how easy it is for women to woo a man? <laughs> You want to be a man? <laughs> Sorry. I'm no, no, I'm just... No, it's, it's cute. Like, I'm, I would never have in a million years, actually. No, not really. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so, there's this pastor in my church. 
that I've been seeing for some time now. He hasn't made his intentions known to me. And I can't wait because I really like him. So I want to tell him how I feel, but I, I don't know if that is right for me to do. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> oh, sorry. I can't just... <laughs> well, look, I don't think there's anything shameful about a woman walking up to a man and initiating a relationship instead of dying in silence. I know, I know that it's not a feminine thing for a woman to show green light to a man. But what if after showing him all the green light in the world and he still doesn't notice? And deep down you know that this is the man that deserves your love. This is the man of your dreams. Don't you think it would be worth a shot to risk it? I mean, take a leap of faith. What's the worst that can happen? You could probably will just say no. And that won't be the end of the world either. <laughs> so I see nothing wrong in it. And besides, men find it extremely refreshing for a woman to be bold enough to express her feelings. Trust me. How come you know all this? <laughs> <laughs> you see? You see? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I've heard you. So how are you going to do it? Amber, you've got this. Yes. Don't worry, I'll give you some tips. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. I know I could count on you. You're welcome. Honestly, I, I I was surprised at first uh, when you asked me on the date. Yeah, because for me it was like the first. Uh, I I just hope I didn't give you the wrong impression by doing that. This is my first too, and I don't know. No, not at all. Not at all. I mean, I would appreciate anyone who takes the initiative. Yeah, and uh, in fact, it makes them special. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you. You know, I, I really like you. Yes. <laughs> I've been watching you for a while, and um, honestly, I, uh, I like you a lot. Okay. I've been dying to talk to you as well. I... Each time I try to talk to you, I, I mean... I get cold feet. Why is that? Am I that uptight? No, it has nothing to do with you. Oh. Yeah. You know, being a pastor, you have to be careful with a whole lot of things around you, like not talking to ladies, not talking to sisters, even. It just kind of interprets you wrongly. And, uh, but I'm happy you, you, you made this move, in fact. I understand what you're saying. I yeah. totally get it. It's fine. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Ah. Okay, just excuse me. I need to use your uh, restroom. Yeah. I'll be back soon. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be here. I'll be right back. Okay. Routine is never ending. Daily blows from people who laugh at others' misery, even family. Ooh, ooh. I did wrong, I admit, but it's not the end of the world now, is it? Ooh, is it? 
I can't stand the pain anymore. It's hard to take, but I've got to be strong now. Right? Ooh, right. I'm tired of covering it. If only they would know how I feel inside. Inside. Just an ultimatum to find someone to stand by me, and I found you, and I found, and then I realized, I realized no one can truly stay alone. Everybody needs somebody. Now that I see realized, you took all the burden away. It was hard to take, but we're doing just fine now. Was tired of covering it, but now I found you. I am not ashamed anymore. anymore. Come on, Amber. You don't have to be sad. So what? Hmm? So what if he has an ex-wife? Maybe. Just maybe they went their separate ways because of some irreconcilable differences. Why me, Asosa? Why me? Just this once that I'm in love. Must he come with the baggage? And before you know it now, news will start flying all over the place that a lead chorist has snatched someone's husband. I can't have that on my plate. Why are you doing this to yourself? You're judging yourself already when no one is judging you yet. But that time will come. And trust me, tongues will wag. I can't. I, I don't know how I'm going to cope with this. I can't. Then let them talk. Let them talk. As long as you're happy, that's all that matters. Okay? It's okay. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Amber. I, I, honestly, I am. Catherine was my wife. I got married to her two years ago, all, all because I wanted to please my mom. A few months into the marriage, I discovered she had a perforated womb. She will never be able to have kids. I was so devastated. Not only that, she, she was seeing other men. I mean, what is the essence of marrying a woman? Who is so arrogant? Can't give you children? And 
worst of it all, she is unrepentant. I discovered we're not going to get along, so I pushed for a divorce. I'm really sorry. I don't know what to say. I understand, Amber. Hey, please. I love what we have right now. This is the best moment of my life. I can't, I can't let it slip away. Please. You're bringing so much happiness to me. Yes. I love you. Okay, how about I come see your parents this weekend? And we can take it up from there. <laughs> hey, okay. Just say yes, right? Yes. <laughs> I love you, right? <laughs> love you so much. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, it looks so ravishing. Oh, come on. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. I show everything's loading. <laughs> I know you guys can't wait to meet him, and I certainly can't wait for all of you to see him. Well, I came so I could figure out what I'll make for you. Oh. Because it's your day. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you very much, your day. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So why are you guys just going? I'll just be here with the bride, waiting for the groom. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So how far? Compounds. Have you picked your gown? Already. I beg now. What's the color of the day? I'm still so nervous. You know, he he coming here, and then you're talking about. Um, you're welcome. Thank you, my darling. Welcome, ma. Thank you, too. Tired. What is she worried about now? Oh my god. So what are you people talking about? She's been panicking. Eh? Hey. Why are you panicking? <laughs> it's my daughter. Eh? Stop panicking. Don't worry. So, what about your pastor friend? <laughs> um, he should be here any more from now. Eh, yeah, so, why are you panicking? Open the door now. Oh, baby. So, this is what she has, but this is. Are you kidding me? Oh, good evening. Welcome. I'm fine. <laughs> Come, let me show you. Wow! Yeah! <laughs> so, I'll meet Pastor Larry. Larry, oh. my mother. Pastor Larry! It is my pleasure. Ah. Mm -mm. The pleasure is all mine. <laughs> You're welcome to my home. Come sit down. You? What is it? I know him. What's the problem? What? The one you said knocked you up. Oh wait, what is going on? Larry, what, what are they saying? Honestly... Looks like you're going through a lot. And how, how, how would you know? <laughs> well, I know because uh, 
going through a lot as well. As you can see. The woman I married, my wife, cannot have children. Because she doesn't have a womb. All I wanted was to have children who will call me father. You know, like seeing my princess running around the house, saying, Daddy, and I would say, he come here, my angel. <laughs> you see. <laughs> My boyfriend broke up with me. <laughs> you know, you know, the funny part. He was my mother's ideal man for myself. <laughs> Dating a pilot was the only thing I got right. Oh, he's a pilot. A pilot. I guess you are going through the same issues here. <laughs> <laughs> My pilot has... Who has flown to the world? And the woman is homeless. No. <laughs> Nobody to call you. Daddy. Daddy. Can you imagine? No womb. <laughs> no womb. <laughs> no womb. And no womb. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, pilot will fly. Um. No. <laughs> no. Oh, I will take this last one for me, for me, for you. For me. Maybe you should come here with your wife, so I would have transferred my wound. <laughs> <laughs> no pilot, no more. What do no I need a wound pilot, for? No pilot, no wound. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. What's up? This, this is not true, Ray. But it is. Hey! Wait, wait. What? My sister. Eh? How could you do this to me? Amba, I promise you I didn't know. So, after looking for a man to heap this on and you finally found Judy, who was stupid enough to let you dump this on him, the little happiness I found for myself, mm. you don't want to let it last for me. Oh, oh Amber, don't be unrealistic here. This happened months before you met him. Exactly, I didn't know. So you only accepted to date me because Wanted a father figure for you. Sorry. I'm sorry. Actually, that, she, you remember how we met? If, if it wasn't like that, I promise you, I'm with you because I actually love you. Trust me, please. She told me the father died of stomach cancer. Should I, please? I'm sorry. You disgust. Please stop. No. This is not your fault. I am so sorry. I, I didn't know any of this happened. I looked for you everywhere. Save it, liar. Judy. Oh. 
No. no. What I'm not doing you. Excuse me. Excuse me. That's in the past. Please, ma. Excuse it's me. in the past. Excuse me. I am trying to control myself. Get out! Don't let me lose my time. Get out of my house! No, go! Oh, Get out of my house! Get out of this place! Hey, hey, hey. Please, 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 please. Please, mom! Are you okay? Am I okay? Are you really asking me that? Do I look okay? Don't you know that this is all your fault? Yes, you! My own mother made me desperate to find a man to be a father figure to my unborn child. Who does that? Who the hell gives, gives their pregnant daughter an ultimatum with threats of dissociating me from my own inheritance? He, he made he made finding a man look so good at like it's like it's the best thing that can happen to anybody. Like it's an achievement. You caused this. You know you did. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. All this is happening. It's all your fault. Blame my amber. It's not my fault. I never knew it's your fault. First off, you will never ever speak to me like that again. Because I am still your mother. Do you understand me? Never. And I'm still unapologetic about it. Since your father died, I have bent the sole responsibility of taking care of both of you all by myself. And I sacrificed a lot. I was humiliated. People mocked me, and I did it all by myself, with no help from anywhere whatsoever. And as a mother, I never wanted any of my daughters to go through what I went through. So if that makes me a bad mother, so be it. But don't you ever raise your voice at me again. Do you understand? Well, mother of the year, what has that gotten you? Where? I've lost a so-called father figure now. I have. <laughs> don't, don't let me get up here and start hitting you. I will beat you. At least you found the father to your child. He's gone! You're still raising your voice? Huh? Where is this character coming out from? Who brought you up like that? Mother of the year? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I promise you, I didn't know. Look, uh, it's, don't kneel down. Please, I'm come. sorry, I come. didn't know. Please make her to sit down. I'm so Help sorry. Help her to sit down. Help her to sit down. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, don't kneel down, please. It's okay. I'm sorry, Mama. It's okay, it's okay. Please sit down. I'm sit sorry, down. Sit, down. Sit, down. Sit, down. sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Come on, it's okay. Look at me. Look at me. Listen. Listen, stop crying. Listen. At least we found him. Okay? We're going to get to the root of this. Please stop crying. Relax. I'm sorry. Stop crying. Still on, stop crying. I know she will stop crying. She will. I didn't know. Honey, I know. I know you didn't know. I mean, your sorry. sister is crying. I said, you didn't know. Sorry, Please I'm stop sorry. crying. See, I'm going to follow you people and cry. You don't want me to cry. It's okay. She understands. I'm tired of covering it. Only they will know how I feel inside. Inside. Oh.
this routine is never ending Daily blows from people who laugh at others' misery Even family ooh, ooh. I did wrong, I admit But it's not the end of the world now, is it? Ooh, is it? I can't stand the pain anymore It's hard to take but I've got to be strong now Right? Right. I'm tired of covering it If only they would know how I feel inside It was just an ultimatum to find someone to stand by me and I found you and I found and then I realized I realized no one can truly stay alone everybody needs somebody now that I realized you took all the burden away it was hard to take but we're doing just fine now Tired of covering it, but now I found you. I am not ashamed anymore. I am so sorry. I know I wronged you. Honestly, I didn't know any of this happened. Amber. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. And I, I would also like to see your sister also. If you wouldn't mind. Look, I know we're not dating when all this happened. I mean, I didn't even know who you were. But, so, I'm kind of in between. I forgive you, okay? But, Whatever it is that you think we have has to end. It won't work. So it's either you're here to see my sister or you're going home. I guess I'm going home. Hi. Should they please can we talk? Look, there's nothing to talk about, okay? For God's sake, this is my workplace. You won't even let me concentrate. She What is 
it? What? I think my water doesn't work. What? Sir? Hey! Wait, wait, hold on, okay. hold on, hold on, calm down, calm down, calm down. Hey, calm down, calm down, calm down. Get up slowly, 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 slowly. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Breathe in. Just okay. Eh? I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. Just control it. Control it. Control it. Eh? You can Okay. Move. Hold your leg. Sorry. Sorry. I know, I know, I know. Sorry. 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 No, no, no. It's not coming out. Hold on. Don't let it come out now. Don't let it come out. Don't let it come. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Sorry. 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 Oh, hold on. Sorry. 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 Stop shouting. Sorry. 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 Sorry, I'm taking you to the clinic. Okay. Sorry. I know. Sorry. Let's go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. This routine is never ending. Daily blows from people who laugh and others misery. Even family. Ooh, I did wrong, I am. But it's not the end of the world now. Hey. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, and Dave. Lily? Dave is fine too. She's in the nursery with my mom. Good. Uh, um, Judy, I'm truly sorry about everything. It was never my intention to hurt you or lie to you. I didn't mean it to get this. Did you ever love me? Of course I did. I still do. Well then, it doesn't matter. Because I, I love you. <sighs> And um, I would like to be the father of your baby. Our baby. I didn't come here to make any trouble. I came to apologize for my actions and to also see the baby. Look, I, I am so sorry. I didn't know the, the action of that night has cost you so much like this. That was never me. I mean, it was just one dark night, and here we are. I'm sorry, truly sorry. I've apologized to your sister and, and your mom as well. I don't know if it's okay by you. I'd like to be in the life of the baby as well. Well, that's not my decision to make. It's hers. Well. I cannot deny my, my baby this. So as long as Trudy is okay with you, this is fine by me. Yeah, it's okay. It's cool. 